Hello, everyone. These are my friends. Can you say hello to them? Oh, they say hello too. Do you know what they are? Yes, correct. Those are insects. Awesome job, kids. Today we will learn about insects. To begin with, insects are the largest animal group on Earth. They are small and they are everywhere. Insects are invertebrates, which means that they don't have a backbone. Let me share to you the body parts of an insect. The head, the thorax, which is the middle part, and the abdomen, or the end part. Insects also have antennae. But do you know how many antennae? Okay, let us count. One, two. Insects have two antennae on their head. Now, how about the legs? Do you know how many legs do they have? Let us count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insects have six legs. Now, let me introduce some of my insect friends one by one. Are you ready? Let us look at this ladybug. There are about 5,000 different species of ladybugs in the world. They come with many different colors and patterns. Ladybugs smell with their feet and their antennae. Did you know that one ladybug can eat up to 5,000 insects in its lifetime? A ladybug's jaws chew from side to side instead of up and down like our jaws. When a ladybug flies, its wings beat 85 times every second. Can you see these? They are a ladybug's egg. Usually, a ladybug lays its egg on a leaf. They are yellow eggs, turn white later on. Here's a butterfly. Butterflies are considered by many to be the most beautiful and interesting of all insects. It is usually a day-flying insect having four wings, not two as you may think. Guess what? Butterflies need heat to be able to move. When you see them resting in the sunshine, then it definitely means they are warming up their wings so that they can fly. Hmm, it might sound strange, but butterflies rely on their feet to taste food. Their feet have taste sensors on them that help to locate food for their caterpillars. They stand on a leaf and give it a taste. If they learn that it can be eaten by their caterpillars, they lay their eggs in that spot. All right, as for how butterflies themselves eat, well, they can't bite or chew, so they use a long tube like a tongue called proboscis to eat. It works like a straw, allowing the butterflies to slurp up liquids like nectar. Gloop, gloop. Bees fly from flower to flower, sipping nectar and collecting grains of pollen. They have a special tongue that sucks up the nectar and a crop in their throat for storing it until they get back to their hive, where it's all turned into honey to use as food. Now look at this picture. One bee has five eyes. Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Bee sees all colors except the color red. Hmm, that's my favorite color. That and their sense of smell help them to find flower they need to collect pollen. Did you know that the reason why bees are noisy is because they beat their wings 
eleven thousand four hundred times in a minute. Z what about ants? Ants live in really, really big colonies which have literally millions of ants living in them. Most ants build the type of mound that they live in, which is mostly in dirt of sand. Some of them are very clever and use twigs to make them stronger. A single ant can carry 50 times its own body weight, and they'll even work together to move bigger objects as a group. Ants don't have ears, but how do they hear? They listen by feeling the vibrations from the ground through their feet. Did you also know that ants don't have lungs? So, how do they breathe? Well, they breathe through the tiny holes all over their body. That's all for today. I hope you learned something. Take care. Bye.